Hey you. I find myself getting more and more interested in creating these detailed scenes, which is funny because I've always shied away from drawing backgrounds. You'll notice that the majority of my work for A Month in Color has only the subject and no background. That's because they've always terrified me, so I don't really know what the switch is that's making me really interested in this all of a sudden, but I like it. I really think that this might be a new thing, a new avenue that I need to explore. I thought it would be fun to talk about what inspires me. Well, of course, there's always other artists. I follow lots of people on Instagram and YouTube in particular who definitely inspire me every time that they post something or put out a new video. There's some artists right off the top of my head that I've recently really been enjoying. Of course, there's Minnie Small. You've heard me talk about her before. I've really been enjoying watching her daily videos throughout Inktober, and I love her perspective. There's Furry Little Peach, who I have been really in love with ever since I discovered her a couple months ago. Her vlogs are hilarious and amazing, and her art is gorgeous. There's Jacqueline De Leon. I don't know if I'm saying her her last name right. Jacqueline's amazing. I actually just ordered two prints from her and I look forward to hanging them up in my office so I can see them all the time. There's Kellogg's Loops who has such a beautiful style. I can't get over it. You should definitely check him out. There's Lee Ellickson who I also just recently discovered and I think her vlogs are great and she's so relatable and her art is really beautiful. And then there's Pear Floor who is a very interesting artist and she's so unique. I love her work. While I certainly don't try to copy any of these artists or any other artist's particular style, I am drawn to these artists because of some element in their work that I really like and I usually want to try to embody in my own work. It gives me something new to work on, to play with and experiment with. I also get a lot of inspiration from my everyday environment. I work from home, so I stay at home most of the time, and I actually need to work on getting out in the world more often. But at home, I try to create an environment that makes me feel happy and inspired and creative. And lately for me, that's meant that I've put a lot more effort into the aesthetic of the rooms in my apartment. It's a pretty new thing for me because I never really felt like I had money for decorations. It never felt like that was the most important thing for my limited budget. But lately I've begun to realize how important it is to beautify my workspace because I spend all my time here. So I've been recently getting a little bit of a collection of succulents and other plants. I've been trying to create or find art to put on the walls. I'm about to make a big Ikea purchase so I can really bring my office together in a lot of different ways, both functionally and aesthetically, and I'm super excited about that. And then there's clothes. Lately I've been going through something of a style metamorphosis in myself. Um, I'm finding myself looking for things that really speak to me instead of just getting whatever is the most convenient or cheap clothing I can get my hands on. Because I notice the difference whenever I'm dressed in clothes that make me feel confident and awesome. It comes through in my work. And then besides that, I'm inspired by little details that I see out in the world. Unexpected things that really kind of go under the radar when you're just going about your life, but if you put on your artist eyes and you stop and notice these tiny little things, you can find a lot of beauty in them. For example, whenever it rains, I really enjoy seeing the street lights reflected on the wet street. And not just see it as a whole, but actually look at the individual colors. Look at the red and the yellow and the green and look how they interplay with each other on the street. The shapes they take, the texture, everything. Just those little details can be extremely inspiring. There's all kinds of details all around us all the time that are so easy to overlook, but if you just open your eyes and see things for the pieces instead of as the whole, there's a lot of really interesting stuff out there and it just makes me stop and think about things in a different way. And then of course, one last thing that inspires me always is getting new materials. It might not last for very long, it's a bit of a high that wears off, but it definitely does the trick. You hand me a brand new set of pens, you better believe that I'm going to start drawing something right away. Of course, you can't rely on that because it'll be broke pretty quick, but it's definitely effective. Speaking of materials, um, I just wanted to point out how funny it is. I use this striped washi tape and I guess the white stripes let the paint through. I'm not really sure why it did that. It's kind of an interesting effect. I'm not upset about it, but I'm a little bit perplexed. I don't know if I'll be using this tape again. All right, well, we're only one day away from concluding. I'm definitely going to be doing a flip through when all is said and done, so keep an eye out for that. If you don't already, make sure to follow me on my other social media accounts. The links are in the description. I don't really know how I'm going to continue doing art every day, 
day, I plan on doing something every day, but I have no idea in what form that's going to take. But you can better believe that even if I don't post on YouTube, I will be posting it on Instagram at least, and probably Facebook as well. So make sure you're following me on those platforms so you can see what other stuff I come up with once a month in color is concluded. Also, I just wanna say that I know that I skipped two days, Saturday and Sunday, but I didn't actually miss any days of drawing. I had started the month ahead and throughout the month I lost my lead and it just got to the point where it made more sense to not do those two days because I was two days ahead anyway. So this means that I will post a painting for the 31st on the 31st. But I didn't cheat. I just wanted to promise you I actually have been doing art in some form every day. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and let you go. So I will talk to you tomorrow for the final day. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you did and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.